Yeah, no now we're in the area again with those Warsong Shamans. And what? We have to disrupt the reach rituals. Mokua, Krakak, and Gaga totems. Ah, there's one here. Okay, here's the first. Oh, no. It's a shaman no. stone. Ah, damn. The same as we uh, we had in the entrance where the, ah, here. the wind. This is a ritual toad. Here's that uh, one. There's no one here to, uh, to guard this place. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need more totems. I guess there are more. I guess uh, there are more totems in the south. Okay, Leatrice, let's look for the remaining totems. Oh, come on, can I free myself? Yeah. So this is Ocean Goon. Yeah. No. There's nothing. Ah, here. There must be. And those are guarded. Not any longer. Die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, disrupt this. Oh, a quest is behind us. Somewhere. Yeah. Uh. Are here was on attack plans. The attack plans are scrawled onto the parchment in thick black ink and bound in rough leather. To all Outrider stations, the Warlord has commanded that all Outriders prepare for a full assault upon the Alliance invaders in our land. Plans for the attack have been delivered to several of the remote Outrider posts. Blood and glory shall be ours as we trample the Alliance invaders beneath our feet. The Warlord commands in the war song, obey, Lokdar Ogal. Steal them. Oh well, yeah. No, we know their plans. <laughs> Silence the call? No. Which is the quest now for this plants? Here. The war song fret. Oh, we need to get more of those tactics. Mm, yeah, okay. No problem. Basically just looking around here. Oh there was there are some in this hut? Here's the first piece. Was uh, Outrider orders? Ah, here the last. Last ones. Yeah, all totals destroyed. Okay, we uh, now can use the next stone here. To commune with Calandrios. Disrupt the rituals. Dark shamanism is a dangerous practice. It is true that the world can be a source of terrible power, but it is the kind of power that comes at a price. These woods are safer now that you have put an end to the rituals. Okay, let's go over there. For the next war song tactics. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Again, the ritualist. Alright. Kill him once more. No problem. So, 
spread our plans. Okay. Huh. Scouting reports. Okay. So. Hmm. Oh, we have to look around more. Okay. Oh, here's another hut. Awesome wolf. Galua. Hi. My wolves will rent your flesh. I don't think so. They won't like me. <laughs> hey. Ate me. Call of the World Mother Trinket. Oh, we c you can come uh, summon a wolf guardian to fight by your side for 12 seconds. Warsong command brief. Okay, one more. Eh? Did not pick up? No. Now we still need the Warsong unit tactics. Ah! The wolf is attacking me! Okay, okay. So one piece is still left. And we need. Uh, ah, it's. Should be over here. Is here a shaman? Here's another hut. Mix unit tactics. Okay. Get them. Oh, here. Okay. Warsong awesome threat is complete. Okay, we have our achievements. Now let's speak with Kalanjos again. The gift of Chamanism is not one to be taken lightly. When the gift is abused, the elements will rise up in indignation and smite the shaman. True the Nita. The rituals have been disrupted, yet the Nether be beacons still glow with power. This can only mean that the beacons are powered from within the twisting Nether itself. The connection to the Void must be severed. There is but one way to accomplish this. You must slay the Void creature that maintains connection with our world. Lay your hands upon the beacon and travel into the twisting Nether. When you have arrived on the other side, locate the Shaman Stone and use it to contact me. Okay. So we go to the Nether world. Uh, let's take it to the Warsong Wind Cola. Okay, this is the Nether Beacon. Oh. And now let's just speak with Kalantros again. There's a Void Terror now. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Shaman Stone appears to be working even from Wind and Twisting Nida. There's much that needs to be done. The monsters of the Void are gathering upon Oshogun and must be stopped, else they invade our realm. The Nida approaches. By connecting with the Twisting Nether, the Warsong Shaman have created a ripple effect that they could not have anticipated. Look around you and you will see countless portals beginning to open. Signs that the Twisting Nether seeks to connect to Draenor. Should these portals successfully open, the path will be clear for all manner of demons and void creatures to rampage across this valley. The Void March Hidden behind the veil of the Twisting Nether, the, the abominations of the Void march upon Oshungun. The, the great void growing deep within the mountain has drawn them like moths to a flame. Wave upon wave, the creatures of the Void march upon the mountain and sacrifice themselves to Invalidus. The Void Lord Invalidus cannot be allowed to feast upon the void other void creatures, else it will become too powerful to stop. Okay. And so, so these are the portals. Yeah, need to collapse them. These are small tentacles. Okay, and more, more portals. And 
Void Terrors. Ah, hier ist another Portal. Ja, Tris, hier. Off so many white terrors here. Shit, shit, come on. Yep. Ah, more. Shit. <laughs> Leo, just come to me. Ah, there you are. Yeah. Okay, let's close those damn portals. So they don't come anymore. Ah, come on, the last one. Oh, if those portals were to fully expand and open, the path would have been clear for the horrors of the Twisting Nether to march upon Nakrant. The Warsong have been careless in their ma mad pursuit of power and glory. The Void Lord must be stopped. Thanks to your effort, the tide of Void creatures has been has waned. But we have, but if we are to defeat Invalidus, we must act swiftly. The Shadow of the Void. The moment has come to take on the Void Lord. Invalidus grows more powerful by the minute, so you must move with haste if you are to defeat the monster. At each of the Warsong ritual locations there is a Void Crystal. These crystals are used to channel the energy of the Void from within the Dressing Nether. Disturb the crystal and Invalidus will sense your presence below. Be ready. As soon as the crystal is disturbed, Invalidus will waste no time hunting you down. Okay. So another... Yeah. Now we have to uh, visit each ritual location. Yeah. And then Invalidus will become angry with us. Oh. So, ah, uh, here is the Void Crystal. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! It's already there. Okay, dokey. Huh. <laughs> We're lucky. Wait, the world was destroyed and the war song reaches halted. The threat of the untwisting nether has subsided. Okay. Oh, so. We're done here. We can now, um. Proceed out of this forest. Spiritual to matters. Ah, we have to speak with the ancestral. We have to go to the ancestral grounds and commune with the spirits there for guidance. The spirits of the dead have long been drawn to the mountains of Sh Oshukun. Ah, here are all the ancestors. The yeah. Spirits. As long as I can remember, the woods have been filled with ancestral spirits, making a ghostly pilgrimage to the heart of the mountain. I fear that the souls drawn to Oshungun are being consumed by the growing void within the mountain. Make your way to the ancestral grounds and commune with the spirits there for guidance. Garok. I have goods for sale. The situation here is dire, but I sense that we would meet again. I do not hear the call of the void as loudly as the others, for I am not long dead and my body rests far from this place. With time though, that will change. If you are here to help, listen closely, for time is short. For Dorotan. Lighting the darkness. The spirits of my ancestors have always been drawn to the mountain of Oshungun. Now, I feel, I too feel this pull deep within my soul, but something is not right. The present has beckoned us to has grown dark and ominous. It consumes the souls of the dead, the souls of my ancestors. Something must be done. Take hold of the spirit torch and light the ceremonial pyres in the ancestral grounds. 
The flame of the spirit torch upon the pyres will calm the respite spirits being drawn into the void. Honor our clan. If the pyres remain unlit, we too shall be drawn into the void and consumed. Goods for sale or trade. What the fuck? Goods for sale and trade? Echoes of the past. When a spirit is consumed by the void, an echo of the soul is all that is left behind. Neither in the physical or spiritual sense of the world would these echoes be considered alive. The echo is merely a twisted reverberation of the anguish left behind by the soul as it is consumed. If left unchecked, the echoes will lash out against the living and steal the spirits of the dead from their graves. And in order to restore peace to the ancestral grounds, these echoes must be put to rest. Stay strong. Okay. So we will bring peace to the ancestral grounds. Tormented echo. Ah, oh yeah, come on. Come on, stay off the mount. Yeah, I don't want to be on the mount right now. What's this here? Ah, these are the San Juan pyres we need to torch. Another one. Golmar Shell Scream? No. Uh, but first we stay away. Yeah. Them to rest. Oh fuck! Hmm. One die two. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oshaguna waits. Do you need supplies? Do not mourn the twisted echoes of the dead. They are merely the distorted reflection of On's noble spirits. Instead, mourn the loss of those souls consumed by the dark void that grows within Oshagun. Maybe I can help. Now that the flame of the spirit torch is upon the pyres, the spirits of my ancestors have been insulated from the call of the void within Ocean Goon. However, more must still be done if the spirits here are to rest peacefully. Golmash hell scream. Those who die in brutal combat often enter the spirit world in unrest. So it was with Golmash, father of Krom Kromash hell scream. Crushed within the jaws of a hulking Gron, Golmash still found it strange to bury his axe go hole deep into the eye of the monster. When they fell, it was the Gron who died first. Such is the heroic death that every warsong dreams of, yet few attain. But Golmash's mighty spirit lingers restlessly, steering the other spirits into unrest. Put his mighty soul to rest. Spirit of Gormus is merciless. Let this gift ancestral winds guide your hands. Okay, what's this here? Ancestral wind haste increased for five minutes. Ah, this will make it a little bit more stronger. No wait. Yeah. Torment. Okay. Echo. 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 Oh. You dare approach the giant slayer? I will cleave your head from your body. <laughs> Try. The sun fade too. And so will you. For the glory of the wars, I will crush you. Why do I'll I feel die. no pain from your blows? I see now this is not my death. My death was long ago. And it was glorious. Ancestral grounds. Okay, seems to be the last thing here. Maybe we can trade. Golmash was a mighty warrior in life. Few orcs have been as honored by their clans and feared by their enemies as the great giant slayer, the father of the Hellscream name. With the mighty spirit of Golmash Hellscream finally put to rest, the ancestral grounds may once again be a place of peace and reverence. You have heard thanks. So, what is this? 
a necklace. Yeah, that's cool. Stay safe. Your deeds here will not be forgotten. Your name shall be spoken in reverence among the spirits of my people. Okay, okay. We're done here. Throne of Elements back again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A fest here, what? Leatrice? Let's speak with Kalandrios. Right. The fate of Gordak. What of Gordak? Has the great fury been brought to rest? Well, yes. Gordak was a mighty ally. The elements will mourn the loss of the fury, but death was the only answer. Gordak would not have wished to stay a slave to evil. Though Gordak is no more, the heart of a fury is eternal and, and unbreakable. In time, this brightly glowing heart will take shape into a new urban fury. Such is the cycle of life upon the elementals plateau. Okay. When Nigata, the dark heart of Oshungun, the fate of Kuri could not have been prevented. Shogal accelerated the narrow's transition into a void guard in hopes of bringing destruction upon Draenor. Shogal must be dealt with, but for now let us honor the memory of the great Naro Kuri. Kuri was truly the savior of my people, a friend to the virtuous and a teacher of prophets. May the great Naro ever live within our hearts. Okay. Ore will be deeply missed by my people, but the story of your courage in the face of evil will inspire them. Okay, now the last quest here for... Where is he? Ah, uh, there, Captain Wishburn. The Warsong Fred. This is where the planes we got. Warsong Commander Brief, Mixed Unit Can Tactics. What do you have for me? Well, take a look. Captain Wishburn examines the attack plan, squinting at the lettering and holding the pages upside down. Hmm, I see. Yes, indeed. These are obviously attack plans, as you yourself have stated, but they are not. They are most likely written by Kobold Pyromancers. Strange, though, I haven't seen any Kobold Pyromancers since my days in Azeroth. No matter, I assure you that the outpost is well armed and mostly fireproof. If we are attacked, the outpost shall fall. You have my word, Commander. See you later. You need something? Oh, yeah, that's I the do. one who took Let an arrow to work. the knee. Well, he says they are secure. Okay. Okay guys, there's no attack coming <laughs> right now. So, that's it for now. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye.